there, nerds. Jimmy Palmquist here. And last night I had the pleasure to watch White Men Can't Jump 2023. I honestly didn't know this was going to be a thing. Uh, I very much enjoyed the first one. I remember seeing it in the movie theater way back when with Woody Harrelson, Wesley Snipes, and Rosie Perez. Uh, just a fantastic movie. A lot of fun. Uh, it was the second time Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes had teamed up. They were in a Goldie Hawn movie called Wildcats. Um, so this one is the best. They actually did a third one where they teamed up called Money Train. But this is the best of those team-ups with them. Um, the humor, the comedy, even the action and the basketball. Um, just a lot of fun. This movie is not bad, but it's just not the original. And I guess I wasn't expecting that. I was impressed with sort of the updates to the reason why they're having to get into basketball tournaments and have to make money. So the reality that was more grounded in this one um, versus the point skimming with Woody Harrelson. Um, this one had uh, the main character, Jeremy, who's played by Jack Harlow. Um, he, he had gone to Gonzaga and uh, had knee injuries. And he just basically wanted to play basketball, but he couldn't. So he had found uh, alternative lifestyles and ways to try and treat his body while at the same time pawn that off and sell it and become sort of a scammer to raise money to keep that uh, dream alive, just to get to the, uh, the G League, developmental league for the NBA. Um, and his uh, partner in crime, uh, played by St. Juan Wells, was um, dealing with um, basically being the LeBron James in high school and not living up to the hype because uh, of health issues with his dad, but rage and anger that he held within for too long and just came out and he went out into the crowd and uh, beat up the kid that was heckling him in high school, uh, which landed him in prison. Um, and obviously that derailed any future he had in basketball. So it's a touching story of his journey and learning to deal with anger and Jeremy's journey of um, basically the reality of he had everything he could have wanted, but his body just gave up on him and he couldn't do it anymore. So he had to deal with the realities and obviously the ladies that support these gentlemen in their journey. And the thing that I felt was sort of lacking was this was, um, don't get me wrong, it's, it's R-rated, but it felt more like a, a Disney production of White Men Can't Jump in that at no point did I think they weren't going to win. Um, in the original, we see Woody Harrelson come to the realization that sometimes when you win, you actually lose. And that's where Rosie Perez left and didn't come back. And I did like how they show where the these stars end up and how they are still together versus uh, in the original, they kind of walk off into the sunset, so to speak. Um, but it was definitely more of an after-school special um, warning to things that could happen and here's what we need to do and how to get better and all that stuff. And um, it just didn't have the feel of the original and I didn't expect it. You can't, you can't uh, bottle magic like that again. So I enjoyed it. It was definitely worth a watch. I really enjoyed the two main actors. Um, I thought they had a, a great rapport. Um, again, I think compared to Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes, but it was an enjoyable movie. I, I would highly recommend it. Um, it's on Hulu right now. Check it out.